This is Dr. Sikorsky in beautiful Elgin, Illinois. Uh, and today we're gonna add some more uh, information or another video on our uh, foam rolling uh, series. But this time we're gonna use some simple um, bowls. And we used uh, the lacrosse roll previously when we were foam rolling our lower extremity in the shin box. And uh, today we're gonna use a tennis ball and a foam and a lacrosse ball for our upper back. Um, this is very beneficial for patients who have neck pain or tightness in the upper back, because uh, it'll help alleviate the, the tightness in the thoracic spine as well as help with the muscles. The thoracic spine has a tendency to become very stiff because of sitting hunched over in the uh, flexed position in front of the computer. So the ability to put ourselves in the zombie, sometimes this can become very fatiguing if we don't have really good flexibility in the thoracic spine. So we can use the lacrosse ball. We're gonna put it uh, down and then we're gonna put our body over it. And then we can just sit here and hold it for a minute or so. And then we could slide up and we could hit the next section even if we put our hand above our head and just worked on the flexibility of the shoulder at the same time, this would also help. Now the lacrosse ball is less forgiving, so it's gonna co co uh, cause more pressure and sometimes more pain if uh, it hurts too much or we're just starting out and we're not sure you know, how, how is it gonna go for us, we can use a tennis ball. And it would be the similar principle where we apply it on there and then uh, we would find the spot where the muscle is really tight and we can just sit and breathe into it and blow it out. Now for patients, sometimes this will be a little demanding on the neck, especially if our head is very forward and we have really, really bad um, posture. So we could use a rolled up towel underneath our head and support our head while we're working on our upper back and some of those uh, trigger points and knots that can develop up in the back. We can also, if we had two balls, we could take them together or uh, just align them like that. They would be on each side of the spine so that way we're not pressing on the, on the spinous processes or, or the bones in the center and we can lay there. The same thing, we could be here working on flexibility of the shoulder and we can hold it and just breathe and then slide up. Same thing and breathe. All right, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call the office. Uh, they're very inexpensive, but very effective.